No piece of design is neutral as far as I'm concerned. It always has a, either negative or positive impact. I think designers need to realise how much power they have. There aren't enough people asking why we should give a damn about anything. So it's about thinking beyond yourself and thinking about maybe your future self. People don't realise that how they want the world to be is something that they can manifest and they can use design to get there. We're making too many things sexy and desirable when we should be asking bigger issues and questions. I think the whole world should be thinking about how they can design like they give a damn. What attracted me to the event tonight is I'm particularly interested in thinking about how design can be used beyond and outside of its traditional sphere. The thing about the event that attracted me was the title, Design Like You Give a Damn, and that's something I've been passionate about for over 10 years now. This evening I'm going to be talking about uh, redesigning retirement, getting people to really truthfully, honestly bear their soul to us. 90% of things that we own are in landfill within six months. So what I really want to explore with people tonight is how can we have stuff without contributing to environmental disaster? And there are ways, and we can use creativity to get there. There's this assumption that, that the future will be better through technology, and, and I think what I'd like to ask is what is better, because it's a little bit more complicated than I think a lot of people are led to believe. It was enjoyable to approach something that actually is quite a serious issue, but do it in a playful way. Time to think outside the box. The one thing definitely that the experts did really well is they invited and welcomed everyone's opinions. And I think that's really important for really getting something out of a session like this. Dirty Rotten Socials just feels like it's a really good thing to be involved in because we are really interested in solving the big problems in the world. And clearly these guys are too. People feel powerless, they feel like, oh, I'm working for a company, but they don't really care about anything that I care about. But actually, you've always got influence, even if it's only talking to one of your colleagues down the pub or, you know, subtly putting things in front of people at, at work, you always have influence. So the thing to do is that, that remember, that even if you can only influence one person, that's a start. And as you move on in your career, your influence gets bigger and bigger.